for right now. Match should begin soon. No. Uh, right now, seems that Italy spent some time getting their, their team together, and the match is about to start. Game 4. And it is fixed. Let's see how this goes. Here we go again, man. Mm -hmm. The map is starting. I think Canada went for the Londo uh, map since uh, they knew that Italy is not that good in the Londo type. Mm -hmm. There's a force we are going starting to be... right off. Starting right off, not too much of a uh, you know difference. If they want. Is actually dropping uh, accuracy right here. I mean, he did say he was not a long player, but that's oh, why. Oh, the okay. Disaster strike! I bet the entire what team of Italy the same note. What happened there? They also find the miss, but that doesn't seem to be benched. They just really all missed in the same spot. What happened, Italy? Holy hell! He's even kind of mad, but nervous. Not really a, having a lot of impact right now compared to the ac huge accuracy and combo methods from Italy. Baron right now sitting at a 98, a low 98. And right, and Kira is struggling to get back to the 99. Wow, this is an explosion. Right, right now, this early into the map, this might be it. If Canada doesn't suffer from an equivalent astro. Yeah. This is impossible to come back from. Wow. Yeah, I. This is basically impossible to come back from, especially from that three way miss from Italy, all on the same note. Like, what happened to Italy? I don't know. And the and the, they're not reversing. So yeah, they really just had. That is insane. Yeah. But yeah, halfway uh, through the map, and it seems like no one is, uh, you know, dropping a miss or a huge accuracy drop. LS White is having the uh, highest accuracy right now, 99.80%. Mm-hmm. Right now. Yeah, they're, Canada is doing fantastic. They're having a, a very, very solid 99% average. Uh, and right now, even Mask, highest accuracy in their team, struggling to keep it... Oh, and he, they miss again. That is oh no, mass rough. This match is yeah, I don't think each time more. Yeah, I don't think um. Byron found I don't think Canada. Kind of, I don't think Italy will be winning this. Yeah, most definitely not. But the but the lead is getting absurd. It's bordering on a hundred thousand at this point. This might be the hugest lead uh we've seen like in. The entire tournament thus far? Yeah, like, Bayon also finding a miss. Yeah, at least a contender. Wow. Okay. We're, we're gonna be closing it out right now. Italy's severely struggling into this. Right now, right now, Kuris has the highest score in the, in the lobby for Italy, but Canada just twisting the knife and taking this one with a Solid performance. Right now, this is a point for Canada. Really. It's gonna be 2 2. Uh, no break points thus far, too. The, the team's fix absolutely on point. And yeah, uh, Canada swiftly easily get that point. And LS White with a V1 double S here, 992k. Pretty good. But uh, his ratio is not that uh, high uh, compared to Akai Far of Suga on 991k for 200. Mm -hmm. And yep, Canada easily took that point and now it's Italy's pick. Yeah, that, that's Italy's pick. And now they have a wealth of rice picks to choose from. What are, where are they gonna strike? Holy hell. Mm. So. I know they have a pretty difficult decision in their hands because they did win on right rows, but Sh while Shannon Steer is the most similar map to white rows, it is way riskier. I don't think it really might be comfortable uh, playing that. 
Uh, meanwhile, uh, Stay By My Side and Eight Planet are much more consistent, but then they're gonna have to face like the full power of the Canadian ratio, and it's gonna be a way closer battle because of that. But yeah, that's what they go for, Shannon Kieran. They wanna strike on the tag, that's what they wanna do. Not an easy decision either way, but they pick what what works for them. They're trying to bring it to the third point. And if they do take this Canada, it's going to be in a really tough spot. Oh, Varon's paying. Oh. That is interesting. Oh, they are choosing Shanna's Theorem, and... Seems like we are going with the same, um... Yeah, the same. For both Italy and Canada. Mm -hmm. Uh, Varon's paying is surprising me, but... Canada really just do have that three-player, uh, generalist core that they can just plug in for almost everything. It's a really solid team on that front. And right now, we're about to start. Right now, flickering like crazy. The, the lobby just can't decide who's in the lead right now. This is... Yeah. Oh, by the leak out. Oh, Akai. Akai falls at LS by. Yeah. Oh, looking good. These these slight accuracy drops are gonna bring a very tiny lead to Italy. They are fine right now, but they gotta keep it together. Two hundred can come and go really easily in this map, and they might find themselves tied again if they slip up. Yeah, right now, Archive Files and Alice by trying to get their actions back uh, to, to the 70s, 80s, 80s percent. Because while while the the Italian team doesn't seem to be dropping purpose in their players, uh, the accuracies are not that far behind. Oh, Archive Files find some more drops. That is not good. Right now, Easy and Tira is having a battle as the top, as the better players of their respective teams. So there's only 700, about 700 points ahead, it's making it 600. Right now this really close team separated only by the 200 and slightly safe of the players. Anything can happen in this ending, but Italy does seem to be holding a small lead and it's flickering again! If Italy can hold out, that is Italy's point, but still, Canada is there trying to get the score back up and Ace is here mm -hmm. trying his best right now but he was really, here really trying to stop it. him with matching accuracy LS 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 is supposed to try. and it seems like it's going to be to this point yeah it's like, gonna be at least point by not even 2000 like about 1, a thousand seven hundred that is yeah wow they are very really insane. treading the needle on this one so Kira's and Aces with a V1 double Yeah, S. with a V1 double S, Kira's with an impressive score. They're they are so confident in their ability to outscore Canada. That is actually yeah. ridiculous. But here's the right. thing. Canada Canada is picking right now. So if Canada choose choose a map where Italy can mess up on, then it's gonna be Canada's uh Canada's match point and we will go into yeah. a tiebreaker. So Yo, the tiebreaker at this timing, that's insane! Wow, that would be ridiculous. Holy hell. We have, we'll they have their choice. Um, we will be needing to ping again without saying uh, maybe, uh, you know, tiebreaker hype. <laughs> tiebreaker hype, let's go. Uh, yeah. so, right, so right now it's really, it's really a question of what kind of map will Italy miss on. Are they gonna miss in the high pressure jump stream where we have to get a oh. ratio, or are they gonna here's miss the, in the, the consistency map? Here's uh, the thing. I think um, Canada may go for eighth planet because uh, 
from uh, you know what we saw there on China's theorem, Italy's uh, accuracy and consistency seems to be you know rivaling Canada. And since Italy won that, I don't think Canada will be going risky and go for stay by my side. But oh on yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Um, if so yeah, either way, it's a very very hard choice for Canada. Yeah, can we get a TB high? Yeah, I, I think this is high. <laughs> right yeah. now, I think this is high. Oh, oh we picked up for three minutes high! That's the high. Okay. This they is a very risky pick for Canada. They are going this, is a super, this is a super, super risky pick for Canada here. Yeah. If Canada does not win, then it's Italy to win. And Italy will be winning 42 if that happens. Yeah. Right now, they do not. They do not seem to be happy with their position. This is why it's the rough situation. Canada having to pick a rise against a team that has beat up twice on it is not a desirable, not an enjoyable situation. And right now, they just gotta gotta go in and perform and see what they can do. Italy has not been beaten then in rise. Uh, mm -hmm. by, by really significant margins. And I think in a pick yeah. up, uh, like Stay By My Side, where they're, they're gonna have a long time to feel all the nerves and get all those mistakes. Uh, mm -hmm. This might be more close than we even expect. Yeah, especially, we did not expect Italy will be doing this great. Yep. Especially when they are, I think out of the tournament, from what I heard from Halo, but still they are doing insane against Canada here and currently the league is uh, at um, Canada's side by a bit but it's just the start nothing will be happening that much and Vayron actually having the lowest accuracy right now not that point 55 mm -hmm. yeah anything I, can I happen a bit of a mess point. up and right now Canada with the driver of a lead off of Vayron's mistake and are we actually going to get a TP for this? <laughs> it's gonna be insane if we are getting a TP for this, but everyone from Canada's side is holding a minimum of 9.76%. They were all on 9.80% just a second. Oh, it oh, started to flicker me again. Oh, it's starting to uh, flicker me again. And... Accuracy starts to climb back up. The score yeah. is becoming decisive again. As Kira's as here. Kira's is trying. Kira yeah. is trying his best, trying to get their accuracy back up. Same with Math, both got back up to 99.9. This can be anyone's game. Drop. And right if now, Archive Files, if Archive Files can get back into accuracy and V1 drops, then it can be Canada toy. But it's gonna be hard as we are already halfway to the map. Definitely, right now. Well, uh, Canada, with that slight disadvantage across the board, making a really difficult on the mm -hmm. diminishing their prospects right now. Italy going strong into the second half. They are looking very, very solid. Yeah, Italy is just playing out of Canada's mind right now. Oh, come from, that a mess! That might be it. That might have just been it. That, Ooh, yeah, that, that might have been, been it. it. And that's the question, is a miss possible from the Italian side? They've had some issues, but they have looked very, very solid on the rise. I don't think they're going to give off a miss this easily. Yeah. All of them seems to be comfortably holding that FC. And I think that is actually going to be Italy's fourth and yeah, final yeah. point. It's the quarter of the way that I don't think anyone is going to drop from Italy. I think Italy got this in the bag. Okay. Even with LSY and Aces trying both of their best, I don't think it's enough due to archive files missing right there. So yeah, I think it's yep. definitely Italy's point. Speaking mm -hmm. of here, 99.9% 9 .9 and mass 99.89. Playing mm. out of the Can Canadian's mind, Vero is just there uh, slowly climbing back up. and. Yeah, the map is slowly yeah. closing in. There isn't really enough time. Yeah, as they were looking to pose, Kiris with that very high 99.93 right now. And 
and Italy are gonna close it out for the win in the group stage. Came a little and too late, but it. they get to cement their place in groups with a really solid last performance, and that is it. 4-2 to Italy. Congratulations to both players. Congratulations. Um, Congratulations Italy's to player got a V1 double S. Yeah, they, they had a double V1 double S, right? Wow. So yeah, yeah. right now, Congratulations, oh, well, Congratulations, Oh, my God. Thank Italy. You. I actually did not expect Italy to win this. I thought Canada was going to win. But still. Oh, oh yeah. I definitely so expected, expected Canada to be to have a higher advantage coming in. But Italy just being so brave on the rise. They just yeah, played all yeah, these maps. The, they had the minuscule ratio. advantages on it. They just took it and took it and took it. So confident. Their Very ratio was insane. Yeah. So yeah, congratulations to Italy for taking their game. They will not defend to the first stage, but as their full pro already died, but they got to go up for the last hurrah to Canada. Congratulations yep. to Canada. They had very good performances. They didn't get any match for free, even against the, the top two, two points from China. And right now, right now, it's their goodbye. Uh, yep. I wish good luck to all the players of both teams, and I hope that you guys will show up again. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and perhaps uh, a 4 game before I don't actually know if that's gonna happen, but in any case, thank you all for participating. We're gonna be taking a short break as we prepare to switch the next match. Yep, in 50, in 50 minutes, we will be having Poland versus Turkey here. Halo will be in still, but for, uh, this time I will 100% be out because I will need to sleep for school, which mm -hmm. will happen in approximately 6 hours. So I will yeah. only have 6 hours of sleep, but no worries, uh, Halo will not be uh, commentating alone and feel uncomfortable. Part of Rush will be uh, coming in and swapping out with me, so uh, oh. Halo will have a partner. Oh yeah, that is very good. So we're gonna have Poland and Turkey in 15 minutes, and in 15 minutes we'll see you all then. Halo, yep. I've been here with Hater Macraman, thank you for watching, and hey, we're signing up. Goodbye, everyone.